And a beautiful good morning from the Midgord Black Ship. I'm just on my way to go and get some of the final materials that I need today while we're still waiting for the floor sander. And I needed to get some things on camera for the sake of the guys selling the materials. So I thought I'd have a quick babble at the same time about what's going on and where we're at. So yeah, I'll we'll have a quick walkthrough at the same time. Uh, um, yeah, we just relocated base camp yesterday from the living room to the dining room uh, from where me and Sarah had the bed in here because I made the mistake of opening the skylight yesterday, but it's July and it's ant breeding season. So what actually happened up there was we didn't realize it for the first hour, but it was swarming with thousands of winged ants up there all having sex up in the sun. But I'd let them into the, the skylight framing until they started dropping down on our head down here where the bed was. So we had to move the mattresses pretty quick smart from here. But there's not much new to see here anyway, apart from you can see the floor again now. And uh, yeah, oh, I better slow down because the whole point is I'm supposed to be getting some of the surfaces on camera so I can pause and show the building suppliers. Um, yeah, I've got to remember all the unfinished bits now. Oh, the inner window flashing I need to get today to tidy up these windows that we put in in the midsection. Uh, <laughs> beans are doing nicely in there. But uh, yeah, there was a hold up again with the sander, the floor sander that we were going to hire, where the app that we booked through didn't actually connect up to their human system and they had no idea we wanted it. So that might be tomorrow instead. Um, so yeah, this is where I'm sleeping now until the sander comes and then we're gonna have to move the bed again so we can get to this floor finally. These tiles I needed to get on film because they're going up here under the kitchen cupboards, uh, dining room cupboards. Uh, I need to go and get the, the stuff to get these up on the wall. So this is how much I need what they call Fogren fix. I don't even know anymore what it's called in Swedish, but the, the stuff to stick stuff to walls with. <laughs> it's too early for me at the moment. Um, and then going through to the unfinished side. Also, I need to be tiling uh, this half-built bathroom. Ah, typical, the light's off, so I can't see how much. Uh, way too dark. Uh, this is a pretty useless video, other than for babbling's sake. Um, it's the job I'm on today, cutting the perimeter insulation for outside the tile wall under the windows here of the bedroom. Um, which is just out here. Don't watch my step, I haven't built the step yet. For the insulation, I need netting for, so I need to get this on film to see how much. Just been digging out along the edge of the tires. <clears throat> this is where the polystyrene's gonna go. Net it over and then plastered with nice green cement. So hopefully I'll get that done today. Whoops, nearly tripped and fell in the pond. It's a beautiful day today anyway. Really a good day to do this outside work. And I hope it holds for the week so I can put the step in with the grey water pipes through it because this will be the botanical cells. Oh, that was the other news. It's super positive with the environmental authorities now. They didn't just stop with authorizing our botanical cells that I'm going to dig in here and build a greenhouse over. But um, they've also taken the time pressure off. They, they said they understand that I have so much to finish inside the ship here that um, they're going to give me a, a two-year period to even start it if I have to take it. And they don't expect me to come back uh, until like five years later with a, a finished system. 
but because we're so <coughs> excuse me because we're so far ahead in Scandinavia with doing these systems then um, yeah they're going to be turning to us for study visits and use as a case study for future applications for people who also want to apply to make these self-contained systems to handle their own grey water. So I'll go back into the window here. Right now I've got to remember all the things I need to go and get. Um, no, there wasn't much else for materials I need to get in today. The glass blocks are getting reconditioned here by Sarah and scraped the old paint off and cleaned up and then repainted so we can build the glass block shower walls in the bathroom. I was just in there. Um, yeah, well, I guess that was enough for a quick walk around anyway. Uh, like I was talking about on Facebook yesterday, uh, we've got humidity to fine tune. Um, so it may be possible that we have to put curtains or a glass door here to kind of keep the moisture in the greenhouse at the front. And like Aussie in Finland, Finland was suggesting, then it would be better if we could lead that moisture out of the air and back into the planters where the plants would want it. So yeah, we'll see what to do about that. But we do have stoves anyway, further back. We've got the kitchen stove there. And we've got the living room fireplace in there as well. The Asgard 4, <laughs> aptly named. And so that'll do for now. And we'll update later. Bye for now.